Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Brandon Campbell at Campbell Fitness TV and today I have for you a shoulder workout. If you notice, I've gotten a little bit shorter and definitely more ethnic over the holiday break. I'm just joking with you guys. It's Chef Buff. What's cracking? I'm representing my boy Brandon Campbell's shirt because he was kind enough to send me one of his shirts. If you haven't checked out his channel already, you should. Especially beginners, he gives good, solid, basic advice covering the essentials. You know, like what's a calorie? If you don't know what that is, you should check out. He has a video on that. But check out his channel. Moving forward, this is my first workout of 2013. I haven't worked out in about three weeks. Why? Well, it turns out I had pneumonia. So everybody in Toronto is getting the flu. I got pretty banged up, got an infection, had to lay low. Doctor told me, you know, if it got worse, check yourself into the hospital because that shit does not sound right. So just watched some Band of Brothers, read some Crime and Punishment. Now I'm back. I ain't never left. I'm ready to smash some records. So over the three weeks, I actually lost about six pounds and uh, about three quarters of an inch on my arm, which correlates to that loss in muscle. What am I going to do? I'm going to keep calm and press on. I'm going to redouble my efforts. Okay. I'm going to get back into it. Hopefully, it'll take me about four to five uh, weeks to regain any lost size, and you'll start to see me fill out. You know, you can even just see how the weight feels. I'm going to include a link in the description to one of my previous shoulder workouts so you could check it out. Check out the weight. Like, you know, I did 175 for three easy reps. Today, first workout back, 150 for two was quite hard. Everything felt sore and achy. So this is a deload workout. People ask, well, how should you approach the weights after you've been sick? My answer, start off light because you don't want to get yourself sick again. I've done it in the past where actually, you know, I was sick. As soon as I feel better, I attack the weights with 100% intensity because the immune system's not quite there and because working out is a stress on the body. Bam, I get sick right again. So take your time, get better. Groove in the patterns, be smart about it. So this is a deload workout. I'm doing about 25% less total weight and volume. So this workout was only about 40 minutes and I could tell you, I could tell you people, because I'm filming this, I'm narrating over this the day after, I am sore all up in my shoulders from doing far less volume. And I hope, as I said before, it'll just take me a couple weeks to get right back up to snuff regain those muscles and then attack those goals for 2013 i'm gonna make uh some videos on it but because i'm still uh, pretty damn lean you know i was on a lean mass phase i gained uh in the last eight months prior to getting sick but i saw it eight pounds of which the vast majority uh was muscle and all my strength went up and the muscle was being put on the right area probably 2013 i'm gonna do the same thing then really focus now on the aesthetic area. So for me, my shoulders, definitely my arms, my weak points, bringing it all up. So if you notice, when it comes to my shoulder workout, keep it big, keep it basic. There's a football bar, great for your anterior deltoids and your triceps, right? A specialty bar. This gym was dead. I got a question for you guys. Is Have you been sick this winter season? Post in the comment section below, because I can tell you, Everybody is getting sick. I mean, the gym was dead. There was literally no one in there because everybody is sick. So I got, look at them chicken wing arms. Wait and see what happens in the next couple weeks is all I got to say. You know, I got my Mr. Miyagi, Karate Kid, Daniel Sun, Bandana for inspiration. Making some strenuous faces as I do the Arnold press, even only on the third rep because I'm trying to, you know, convince myself I'm working out harder than I am. So just simple Arnold press, simple turnaround, once again targeting the anterior deltoid, something I want to improve upon, a Christian Thibaut Doe technique, starting with real light weight here, just trying to get the form right, everything was burning, everything was hurting. You know, areas of my body that normally aren't sore from a workout are definitely sore the day after. Sticking to five essential movements, big five, three are a real compound, hitting up the deltoids, and then you're gonna see after this set, I'm gonna do a face pull. And I wanna just talk about some people where they say, yo, I got shoulder problems, what should I do? Do this. This is a great exercise, especially those when they bench, they got shoulder problems. To open up that scapular retraction, it's very healthy. There's multiple variations. You could do the seated, you could do this, uh, a neck face pull. But this one's really, really great, especially for targeting also your rear deltoids and your rhomboids. 
to bring it all back in tight like so. So I'm using a lightweight to focus on the form. And let's see. No shit. That's what it says in the back. I will, I'm very confused by the message. I, I live in the hole. You know, I think of other things when I hear that and I see squat deep. So apparently this is a squat shirt. I'm supposed to wear it on squat day, but I'm wearing it on shoulder day because I'm cool like that. Didn't read the back. You know, if I had a shirt with a saying like that, I would say, I live in the rack. Because I'm always in the power rack. Because that's where the action goes down. The last set right here. Now moving right forward, moving right along. Just a little bit of lateral raises. Want to work on the lateral head of my deltoids. And keep in mind that to some extent, whenever you do any deltoid work, all deltoids are involved. It's just the ratio of how much one particular head is involved versus the others. For instance, for the lateral raise, you want to make sure using solid form, peak contraction, keep it tight. Make those serious game faces. The more serious your face is, well, not the harder you're working, but the harder you think you'll be working out. So it felt great to be back. I can't wait to make some actual progress this year in the gym. Gator's back. I'm looking forward to that 600-pound deadlift, 500-pound squat, and 3,000-pound bench press, which I think is achievable. Guys, it's the last set. Make sure if you want to see more workout videos, just post in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you're not a subscriber, it probably would be. No, you know, it definitely would be a smart idea. Chef up on me. Keep calm and press on. I will be seeing you. Yes, you in the next video. Peace.